down at the bottom of the garden, among the birds and the bees. A little lot of little people, they call the pot into peace. There's creepy black eyed bees and love Keep it a secret now, please. They're zippy, happy, and they're sweepy. And all the party to be, the party to be. Dumpy was woken up by a loud rumbling noise. First, he thought it was his tummy. But he soon realized that his house was moving. And he found himself on top of a huge mound of earth. Snoopy moved forward to examine the loose earth. Aha, uh -huh, he began. My dear Poppy, when you have eliminated the impeasable, whatever remains, however unlikely, must be the truth. Therefore, this is undoubtedly the work of a mole. This is a molehill. Good heaven, Snoopy, that is simply amazing, blustered Poppy. Snoopy began to say, elementary, when... Now Jumpy's house was on top of a molehill as well. Poppy reacted. Quick, think of something or Poddington will be destroyed. Snoopy sat on a small rock to think. Dumpy opened his front door to find himself trapped. He'd just have to live off his emergency supplies. <laughs> Meanwhile, Snoopy had come to a conclusion. I deduce that the mole is now here. Hello, said the mole, peering round. Poppy greeted the mole. Hello to you, mole. But just look what you've done to our houses. Are you blind or something? Funny you should say that, replied the mole. That's just the problem. Well, it's been nice meeting you, but I'd better be off. Sorry about the damage. Hold on, said Poppy. You'll only cause more mischief if we don't sort your eyesight out. Anyone have an idea? Snoopy thought hard. What about glasses? What a good idea, said Poppy. But where are we going to get a pair of glasses to fit the mole? Scrappy had an inspiration. I've got something in my scrapyard that might help him, but I think we'll need frames. Leave that to me, said Choppy, and they went their several ways. Back at Scrappy's scrapyard, Scrappy revealed a pair of rusty old binoculars. I think these will do for the lenses, he said. Meanwhile, at a log flower pot on the woody outskirts of Poddington, Choppy swung back his chopper and set to work. Soapy helped to clean the lenses, while Choppy finished carving the frames. Poor old Dumpy. He'd been quite forgotten and was down to his last cake. But by now, the glasses were finished and Choppy and Scrappy placed them on the mole's nose. The mole blinked. Oh, there you are! Oh dear, did I really do that? I'm afraid you did, replied Poppy. Don't worry, the friendly mole answered. I think I can do something about this and disappeared down his mole hole. As he burrowed under the ground, the houses sank back to normal. Thanks again for the glasses, said the mole. My thanks to you, mole, replied Poppy. Come back and see us soon. The mole said that he would, and with that, he was gone, leaving a small mole hill. But to this day, the peas have never seen the mole again. So maybe they need glasses. Down at the bottom of the garden, among the birds and the bees, a little lot of little people, they call the pot into peas. There's creepy black eyed bees and love Keep it a secret now, please. Sweet peas, and all the party to peas, the party to 